and that the weird thing about it is that people will touch other people's hair. You will have Are y'all ready to have a good time? Good evening, YouTube. It's Michael, and today we'll be looking at the best five fall outfits, I mean winter outfits, that I could come up with. It's a shame that they stopped making the Boeing 747. I think I could do better, you know, in the long run, so definitely subscribe, but today's a pretty solid offering, too. You may be thinking, where the heck have you been? Believe me, I don't know. I feel like I've been in the upside down world. Anyways, I have an absolute butt ton of things to update you on. There's a lot of stuff happening in the world of the snail. Also, special thank you to two brands. One being Huckberry. They sent a lot of these clothes over, but also Okayama Denim. And if you don't know Okayama Denim, you should look at their website because it is literally insane. They, their Okayama Denim Plus, which is when they collaborate with a brand, is usually some of the craziest artistic denim that you've ever seen in your life. So today we'll be seeing a sweatshirt from them dyed in mud. But if you're interested in anything from Huckberry or Okayama Denim or whatever I'm wearing, check out the link in my bio, the link that says add to carrot, that's where everything is. You can just click on it from there and do your thing. Okay, so the way this video will work is that I have five different outfits, all including very interesting jackets, very interesting pants, very interesting sweatshirts, very interesting cars. Welcome to Mohawk Park. We're connected to you. All right, outfit number one. I call this one the sexy Italian alpine skier. It's featuring me. Starting from the bottom and going up, I am wearing my most complimented shoes of all time. These are Frat Cap Knickerbocker collaboration shoes. They also make them in boots. I have them in this brown suede that you're seeing, but I also have them in black. People are just going nuts. Everybody that sees them, it's unbelievable. Tremendous outpouring of respect when I wear those shoes. And looking at my leggies, I am wearing Momotaro High Count West Point work pants, which they look like chinos, they look like work pants. I think it's a combination of, since it's a very small thread and a very, very tight weave, they feel almost like, not glass, but like they're one material and not you know a bunch of threads if you don't know momotaro they are one of the greatest denim makers of all time they do the famous battle stripes on the booty of pants i gave my momotaros to my friend chris they look fantastic they age well in their work pants just as beautiful next up if we're looking at my chest area i am wearing this is just a wool gray sweater there's no label on the inside because i thrifted it like six or seven years ago hey that tapping that you're hearing it's pouring rain outside in this video that's what that is i thought it would show up on the camera i guess it didn't everybody loves it because it's a little fuzzy it's fantastic but not the big showstopper the big showstopper is the north face 1971 sierra quilted ripstop hooded down jacket this is actually the cheapest down jacket that we're looking at today and next week we're going over some crazy down jackets but i feel like like North Face became North Face like because of these down jackets, especially in the 70s. They're iconic. They look great. I like the silver snaps. 600 down fill, which you see Arcteryx and Patagonia and more expensive jackets use a higher fill, but this is so puffed out that I would actually say you get the benefit of when you use a lower fill count, what happens is it dries faster if it gets wet. So it's not as bad as it seems if you're comparing numbers to numbers. I'd like to call this next outfit Michael trying to make L.L. Bean boots work in a different context. Uh, hello everyone, it's me again. I love L.L. Bean boots. I think they look great, except when they're on your feet. I think just looking at them, they're very beautiful. Then when they go on your feet, you become... You know who you become. You become that guy that wears L.L. Bean boots and cuffs his pants super high and walks around with his girlfriend who's wearing a hat like this but with a little pom-pom on it, which is fine, but I don't want that style. I want a different style. So my entire life's mission is trying to make L.L. Bean boots work. So anyways, I'm wearing those. On my legs, these are probably my most requested what pants are those whenever I wear them pants. These are the Taylor Stitch Chore Pant in Boss Duck. 54% hemp, 30% recycled polyester, 14% organic cotton, 2% spandex. That is a lot of different fibers and I can't speak for Taylor Stitch, but I would assume they use hemp because it's more environmentally friendly, but it's not comfy, so they add cotton and polyester. Polyester also for strength, and then the spandex for a little bit more stretch. And here, this is what makes Okayama Denim such a special store, because they're not just reselling other products, they do a ton of collaborations with really highly esteemed Japanese brands like Studio Day Artisan, which is this one right here. And this crew neck right here is what I'm going to keep, because Okayama Denim said I could keep one thing from this review. I'm going to keep this. This is the Amami Dorozami or Dorozomi. It's got to look up how to say it here. Oh good, no one knows. This is the Amami Dorozome 
crew neck. If you think this crew neck looks cool, I highly suggest you read about it. I could honestly make a whole video on it. It's dyed on a specific island. It's dyed using mud. This actual sweater is woven beyond tight. It is almost like you have to break it in when you get it. It almost feels like it's so tight that there's a layer of mud over it. There's not, but that's what it feels like. And it's actually dyed by hand in Amami Oshima. It's an incredibly specific process to that area because of the silk trade way, way long ago. Like I said, you should really read about it, but the actual crew neck is brilliant. Can you hear those geese? Listen. Wow. One time in eighth grade, my voice cracked and my teacher said, you sound like a goose. The vest that I'm wearing is from Rocky Mountain Featherbed. It is their heritage down vest. It's so weird, but in a cool way, it mixes like Western with skiing. It's just one of those things that everybody's like, oh, that's a cool vest that you have on, Michael. 700 filled down, so it's a little bit more efficient than the 600 filled down in the North Face, but it will dry a little bit slower. Not that that would be a huge deal if you're wearing this vest. Recycled nylon outer. It says the leather top is combination tanned. I'm assuming that might be something similar to Chrome XL, but I don't want to say for sure, because I don't know. I'm assuming they're mixing vegetable tanning with chrome tanning, which for Chrome XL has a lot of benefits. I would assume also are matched over here. But either way, I would size up one if you're going to get this. I usually wear a size 38. This is a size 40. You may even be able to size up two and still be safe. We're rapidly losing light. I have no control over it, so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit here. Okay, outfit number three. We'll start at the top first, make it a little bit crazy. I've never dealt with anything from Crescent Downworks before, but this is kind of the first thing that I've ever dealt with, obviously. This is a 60-40 blend. 700 filled down, down sweater from Crescent Down Works. Everything is perfect except one thing, but 700 filled down, so it's very similar to Rocky Mountain Featherbed. The outside is 60-40 poly cotton, which is how they used to do it. The inside is nylon, and it must be the nicest nylon that you could possibly get. It doesn't even feel like a th like a material. It feels so soft and silky, it's shocking. The only thing that's off for me is it just it's so tight with down, like it's, you can't really even compress it. It's so stuffed that it, it fits kind of weird. It's like kind of sticking out the whole time. Maybe I need to size up one. This, it, maybe it's too small, but it just, the fit's odd. But the qualities and the materials and everything are beautiful. So if you can get one, I suggest you do. Just make sure it fits correctly. Then we have some fantastic Pure Blue Japan jeans, which I really like the fit of, actually. Obviously, I would hem them again like the Momotaros. But these are the Pure Blue Japan OG-003. 14-ounce organic cotton selvage denim, you know, typical. But the warp is organic. The weft is recycled. So that's very cool. And then the inside is dyed brown. These are typical what you see from Pure Blue Japan. Just unbelievable quality, unbelievable texture. Fantastic. And then obviously, we have my Red Wing 3335s, my favorite Red Wings to date. I did a whole review about them, so you could click the card if I remember to put it up there, but they're fantastic. That's outfit number three. Outfit number four is the cozy outfit. I wanted to have one cozy outfit today. This one, you have a cup of tea, you light a candle, you listen to Misty Mornings by Travis Bretzer. Fantastic song, by the way. You should definitely listen to that song. This outfit actually wouldn't be wearing these L.O. Bean loafers. It'd be using like, you know, moccasins. Like, I don't know why, but I couldn't think of the word boat shoes. The those cozy moccasins that you wear outside. On my legs though, I am wearing 365 pants from Huckberry. If you're looking for like a pant in 60 different colors that fits you perfect, you can have slim, you can have slim straight, or you can have tapered. These are the ones to go. You don't have to get them hemmed. You can get your exact size and they're built very well. 98% cotton, 2% spandex. Along with that, I am wearing the Loop Whale t-shirt from Bronson that I talked about in my last video. Taylor went back to Denmark, by the way. I am just so sad that she's gone. I've been having a tough couple of weeks. I, uh, couple about a tough year. This isn't really a winter cardigan. This is more of a, I, I guess it could be, but you'd be chilling around the house. It is not a cardigan that you take outside when it's wet or cold or anything like that. And that is because the composition of it is 63% cotton, 15% polyester, 15% acrylic, 7% yak wool. There's not a Woolrich blend there. So when it's wet outside or if it's cold, it's not really gonna do a lot. Although it is incredibly soft. You can wear it wherever. This is your chilling around the house, the big Lebowski style type deal. I watched that movie at camp when I was like 13. I remember I fell asleep and then I woke up and there were all these topless women jumping up and down on a trampoline and I thought, Hold up. Keep in mind, it sheds a lot when you first get it. You have to basically de-shed this cardigan by wearing it. It will be all over your shirt. It will be all over your bed if you wear it to bed. It'll be everywhere. It is raining and dark and I love it here. This is where I go after work a lot of times and I just sit, well I haven't in a while, but I just sit here for 
like an hour or two. One time I saw a frog, that took up like two hours. On my toesy woesy lemon posy, I am wearing the Rhodes Portland boot, which is Huckberry's in-house footwear brand. The Portland boot is by far my favorite. It looks like, you know, it's a slimmer silhouette. It looks like a moto boot. I really, really like it. The suede is nice. Then I am actually wearing what I'm wearing right now. These are proof rover pants, similar to 365 pants, except these are a bit more gritty. It's a bit larger of a weave. It's not a twill, it is a plain weave. And then actually, one of my favorite pieces from Alex Mill. This is the Fair Isle Donegal wool sweater from Alex Mill. It is fantastic. It is incredibly thick, very, very warm. It uses super fine merino wool, so it's very soft, but also has 30% recycled nylon for strength. I always say that if it's above 50% wool, it's cool. You can mix in whatever you want because a lot of the times it actually adds strength to the garment. 5% alpaca. I'm actually very, very allergic to alpaca, but for some reason it's not bothering me. Fantastic, very stylish. I think it fits me great. I feel like a billion bucks when I walk around with it. And finally, we hop over to one of my favorite brands. This is from Wythe. This is their Camp Friendly Pines Jacquard Overshirt. And you might know the word Jacquard from our Weatherwool video because this is also woven on a Jacquard loom, which is again, why it's so beautiful, but also why it's so expensive. A lot of stuff on Wythe is very expensive but still. I kind of feel like this outfit is, I, I don't want to say a flop, but I feel like the overshirt is too small for the Alex Mill sweater, so I look kind of like, like a Build-A-Bear workshop person. Like if I got the overshirt one size larger, then it would look more natural. This looks a little bit like I'm trying to stack too many things together. Anyway, so that is the end of the video. Sorry I've been posting so infrequently, but I thank you all for supporting the snail. There is some unbelievable updates coming very, very soon. So I can't wait to share out all of those with you. And uh, yeah, enjoy your night, enjoy your day. I am going to try and see you next week. I'm making it the goal of my life. So once a week is back, baby.